In this video, we will examine a proof involving a biconditional statement. Our task is to prove that A is a subset of B if and only if A union B equals B. Now recall that when we're doing a proof of a biconditional, we need to show the claim in both directions. So our first task will be to show that A is a subset of B implies A union B equals B. I put this in parentheses just so that we're reminded of what we're doing. Okay, so let's prove this. Now, when we're proving an if-then statement or a conditional statement, remember our, uh, our strategy went like this. We assume this part and then we need to show this over here. So we'll need to show that A union B equals B. Okay, well this gives us an idea of how to start. So let's assume that A is a subset of B. We want to show that A union B equals B and to show this set equality we'll need to do that with subset containment in both directions. So let's pick X an element of A union B and our goal will be to show that X is in B. Okay, well if X is in A union B then X is in A or X is in B. And keep in mind that we were hoping to show X is in B. Okay, well if X is an element of A then X is an element of B because A is a subset of B by assumption. So that takes care of that. On the other hand, if X is in B, well, then X is in B, so that takes care of that business. So what we've shown is that for any X in A union B, X is in B. So this shows that since X was arbitrary, A union B is a subset of B. Okay, now we need to show subset containment the other way. So let's pick X an element of B. We want to show that X lives in the union, A union B. Well, if X is in B, then X is an element of B union any other set. So certainly X is an element of B uh, union A or A union B, which is equivalent. So this shows uh, that since X is an element of B union A or A union B, same thing, uh, we have our subset containment. So this shows that B is a subset of A union B. Okay, let's put these two pieces together, putting this piece together and this piece together. We have A union B equals B. So what we've shown is this implication going uh, from left to right. We now need to turn it around and show the implication going the other way. So you may want to try uh, the implication going in the other way. Pause the video and I will resume the video in a moment uh, where I show the proof in the other direction. Okay. 
Okay, so we're back and uh, let's see, we've already shown the proof in that direction. We now need to go in the opposite direction. So let's uh, write down what we're trying to show here. We're trying to show that A union B equals A uh, implies A subset B. Now I'm going to erase these other arrows so that we don't get uh, confused with all these arrows running around but we know we're basically going backwards. We're assuming uh, this business on the right, and we're trying to show that gets us over there to the left. Okay, well, let's take a look at what we have. Uh, we recall that when we're showing an if-then or a conditional statement, we are going to assume this piece, and this piece over here is what we need to show. Okay, so let's do that. Let's start off our proof and say assume A union B equals B. All right, now we need to show that A is a subset of B. Recall that to show subset containment, we pick X an element of A, and our goal is to show that X is also an element of B, so we have to do a little work to, to show that. All right, well, let's see. Uh, we've picked X as an element of A. So um, X is an element of A union any other set. Uh, so certainly, uh, this means that X is an element of A union B. But A union B equals B by assumption. So what have we just shown? We, we, we've said that this means that X is an element of A union B, but this is really equal to B. So we've shown that X is an element of B, and that's exactly what we wanted to show. So therefore, uh, since X was arbitrary, a is a subset of B. So this completes the proof because uh, once again in the previous slide we went uh, this direction and now right uh, here we've assumed A union B equals B uh, implies uh, A is a subset of B so we've shown that direction we've shown both directions and therefore the claim is shown.